Hi guys! Guess what I'm making today? Sushi burrito! Yes! Finally, right? I know, I know you guys, I know. So, it's very basic. I am not a professional sushi maker, so I'm going by <laughs> with what I know. <laughs> it's just, you know, just trying to keep it simple. So I'm actually, instead of using sashimi, I usually use canned tuna. It's cooked. This, this canned white tuna flake is the one I'm going to be making for my husband. And the one that I'm using in mine is this, um, let's see, Thai, spicy Thai chili. It's, um, it's super convenient to have on hand. And we have a bunch of these flake white tuna. It's so good with rice and hot sauce. Yeah, you guys should try it. Um, and then we'll need avocado, cucumber, um, roasted seaweed for the roll, and then sushi rice, of course. So, a lot of you guys are probably gonna ask, well, what's sushi rice? Um, yeah, it says sushi rice. <laughs> Are you wondering why I'm taking this out? It's because there's a lot of water in here and then, uh, and um, hmm. It'll make the sushi burrito like watery. Uh, and they normally take it out in sushi rolls, so I'm just following what they're doing. <laughs> Okay, so with the tuna, with this one, you have to make sure you squeeze out all the excess water in the can as much, as much, as much, as much as possible. So open it, squeeze it, and then, yeah. In your tuna mixture, you want to put some Japanese mayo and some sriracha. Super easy and super simple, you guys. Just. <laughs> See how simple that was <laughs> and then for this you just have to open it when the sushi is being assembled You just put it on top. I'll show you after um, But yeah, now all we're waiting is for the rice like it's so easy It can literally take no more than 15 minutes to make this delicious sushi burrito you guys so um, traditionally they say to put it in a wooden bowl, but Hey, we're making it at home. I don't have a wooden bowl. Um, so while the rice is hot, you want to put your rice vinegar and sugar and salt and mix your rice. And um, let's see, I'll show you this. Whoop, steaming. <laughs> um, let's not do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to put... should be good for the two of us yeah that's a lot of rice <laughs> so two scoops I would say all right let's go put in our okay so rice vinegar sugar and salt now traditionally <laughs> I'm saying traditionally because I'm not making this traditionally and I know this is so wrong but um, but yeah you can just put um, just I don't know just a little bit and then just a sprinkle of sugar <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> and then you just want to mix it uh, like that. Like slice it, mix it. You don't want to. I already put in salt. And because the rice is still hot, it will dissolve the sugar. And normally, honestly, normally when I make this, I don't even put the rice vinegar and the sugar in just because it doesn't need it. I don't know. And it still tastes pretty good. Because, I mean, this isn't a traditional burrito or sushi um, roll anyway. So, what I'm showing you guys here... <laughs> I guess maybe I shouldn't be showing this because it's not the right way. But who says it's the right way? It tastes good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, there you go. There you go. There's the rice. Mmm. Yeah. Still tastes good. So, I am ready to make our burrito bowl. So, I already opened this. And we got our tuna ready everything we need is here oh except for our tobiko <laughs> i bought from my korean grocery store uh, to make our sushi a little bit easy to eat you will need two of these sheets like so and i just use a little bit of rice to sort of so you just put your sushi rice on top of here. Got myself some water so I can dip my hand in there when it's not too sticky. So it doesn't make it too sticky. There we go. And you can go to town with the rest. And of course you can make this as big as you want. Or as small as you want and of course you can put basically anything in here you can make it vegan or vegetarian or even you know your actual sashimi sushi burrito by sushi by sushi by, by sushi grade salmon and cut it up put some mayo Put some mayo and hot sauce in there. Ooh. So you basically want to fill up the rice. Kind of leave some room here and some room there. And you want to fill it in on the middle, in the middle, in the middle. First, I want to do... And your... Tuna. And then your cucumber. And now you guys, to roll this thing. Basically pull it up in half. like a burrito and then I'm gonna cut it and show you what it looks like are you ready <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah see it looks so good so one down and now I'm going to make mine. <laughs> so 
So guys, here it is, the finished product. Look how delicious. Yeah. So that's with the Thai chili tuna with the regular white tuna with mayo and sriracha in it. So yeah, you guys, time to eat. I think my husband's like starving now. We're gonna eat together, so. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know in the comments if you do. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Mm. Oh, right.